In this video, we're gonna jump on a one day, $20 a day challenge on Fremont Street next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. I got a little inspiration from my friend. In the past, I've done a $10 Euro challenge in Barcelona. My friend John Barr, Here Be Barr, has done a $10 New York challenge. Norma Helly has done $20 challenges, $50 challenges all around Las Vegas. She gave me the inspiration with her $20 challenge video, but hers was more the strip and here combined. Well, I'm gonna confine myself to Fremont Street and try to spend $20 in a day. There are rules. This is solely just on food and eating and having a fun time. So obviously what you can do here on Fremont Street is just enjoy all the fun around Fremont Street, all the performers and all the lights. That will keep you busy for the day. But I do have 20 bucks. I can only spend it on food and souvenirs. Let's see what I could do with $20 in 2023 in a day and age of inflation for 24 hours. Can I make $20 work? I guess we'll see. Looking for that all day $1 shrimp cocktail. It's here at the Fremont Casino at Lanai Express. I've never tried it before. I've seen him on Norma's channel, little mini shrimps. I'm kinda hungry, so let's see it. One dollar. First stop for your $20 challenge here on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. So $1.07, let's deduct that from the 20. Had to get the hot sauce, you know. So Tabasco it is. They already put the shrimp cocktail sauce in there with the uh, lemon. You guys know I'm gonna pour that in. little baby shrimps up in here. Let's mix it in to the shrimp cocktail. The shrimp cocktail sauce is already spicy. It's got that horseradish kick to it. Mmm, tasty. What's down below? There's something green down below. All right, mix it all up. Nice cup of shrimp cocktail to start off the day. <laughs> I have about $18.93 left to spend. That was a good starter, but I'm still hungry. I gotta pick up some lunch and maybe even a brew. I tell you what guys, Fremont Street is a different vibe during the day. A lot different than it is at night. Continuing on with the $20 challenge, this is not gonna help me because my calculation is wrong. Inflation has taken the cheese slice and beer up to eight bucks here at Evil Pie. It used to be seven, so now I'm short a dollar, but I'm so hungry, I'm still gonna go get the one slice of cheese pizza because I think the Cheesy Rider is one of the best cheese slices in all of Vegas and they really do have great beer here so eight bucks you're gonna go to evil pie two to six they have three dollar beers maybe I should just come back and grab a beer at two o'clock I'm gonna be upfront and honest with you guys this $20 challenge is going to sh with the inflation this going up to eight dollars even though the beer is really good and I love the char on this cheesy rider I'm already the nine dollars fifty seven cents spent and the dinner I was planning on getting is already about nine dollars plus tax so I'm pretty much screwed. That's how difficult it is with inflation, guys. $20, it's not working for me here in Fremont Street anymore. Y'all already know I gotta put some Parmesan on here. They even have a nice fluffy crust. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, it's nice and warm. All right, let's go, one bite. Nice and cheesy. I like the char in the bottom. Look at that oil dripping. That's a real cheese slice. This is their evil beer here. Two o'clock in the afternoon, just what the doctor ordered. We're up to $9.57, guys. This is gonna be a struggle today. Let's see what we do next. I feel like that's me eating the Cheesy Rider. Look at that. The cheese pull coming out of her nose. That is amazing. We're here at the Fremont Hotel and Casino. We're gonna grab Steak and Shake. They have a $4.99 deal, fries, and a burger and a drink, and I'm around under $10 right now, so that would put me around 15, and I'll have five more to spend. I had to change it up. I was gonna do the 8.99 Tony Roma's prime rib from 4.30 to 6.30, but that would have put me around 19 bucks, and I wouldn't have been able to show you guys more. Adjusting to the Steak and Shake 4.99 burger, fries, and drink get me to do five extra dollars get to that $20 challenge here on Fremont Street. It comes with a drink. I ended up just getting a pink lemonade. It's got a burger, the patty, onions, some ketchup, and then a bunch of thin fries. I am exhausted, guys. This is gonna get us to 15 bucks. Finish this $4.99 special up. Gotta use the condiments in this case. Man, that wind is howling out there, guys. I put mustard on this burger. Very thin patty. 
$4.99 from Steak and Shake. Patty is so thin, super dry. This should be less than a dollar. My goodness. Mm. And then if you look at the fries, look how thin these fries are, guys. The ketchup is what makes it. <laughs> at least the lemonade's okay. Since this is a challenge, it's not about the best food. We've managed to get up to 15 bucks for the day. Now let's see if, I started this in the afternoon, so I'm gonna count tomorrow morning as my 24 hours to get this $20 challenge done. So we're gonna go to bed. Good morning, Jaycationers. Eight in the morning, the 24 hour, $20 challenge here on Fremont Street is about to expire and I still got about $5 to spend. Now we really do have to adjust and this video is not about the cheap eats or the best tasting food. It's just gotta be me hitting that $20 mark. It doesn't have to be the best. I got an idea. Here's the deal. I've been fighting this and it's a first for me, but I have no choice because I only got five bucks left. Shout out to one of my viewers for giving me this tip. We're gonna go to the Golden Arches, guys. <laughs> so there is a couple of McDonald's here. They do have one over at the Plaza, but they also have one at the D. When you download their app, and this is not sponsored by Mickey D's. I'm just trying to hit this $5. You do get deals, look at this. I can get a 90 99 cent any size coffee? Are you serious? All right, there we go. 99 cent coffee. Oh, you're limited to one deal per visit. All other deals become unavailable for 15 minutes. Do you regularly 199? Okay, it's not a bad deal. Add to order. There you go, guys. A dollar seven. So add that. We're to four dollars. They actually let you use Venmo. All right, we're gonna run down to the D and grab it. I have one more deal I wanna unlock at McDonald's. We're gonna do it the ghetto way, just so I can meet this $20 challenge in a day of mad inflation. Here it is, guys, the Mickey D's. So when you get here, you have to tell them that you're here, and then they'll give you a number, and they'll process it, and then they'll call your number. Coffee secured. So the thing that's good about this deal is that you can get it once a day, right? So it'll come back on your app a day later, so you can get your 99 cent McDonald's coffee here. Any size too, you can get small, medium, or large, and they'll all 99 cents. Now I gotta wait 15 minutes for the coupon to uh, revert so I can reuse another deal and get myself some breakfast. Now we're down about four bucks. Wow, so you don't even have to get a coupon for this, but the sausage muffin, no egg, it's just the sausage with cheese and the English muffin is 189. You can get an English McMuffin with nothing in it for 119. I need a little bit of the sausage. So we're gonna do the sausage McMuffin for $1.89 and like I said, you don't need another meal for that So we're gonna add that to the bag the sausage egg McMuffin for 11 more cents You can get that one deal a day that adds the egg to it So I'm gonna make that my two dollars. That's gonna bring me down to about two dollars left to spend So let's do that. Wow. So two dollars 17 cents was the total. We're gonna bring this up to my room because of time constraints. I can't check out late. Let's do it. All right guys, made it back to the hotel room. Large coffee, got creamers too. So I asked for a handful of creamers. Let's see what they have here. Just coffee cream, regular cream, it's fine. Throw it into this coffee. Some people like McDonald's coffee. I don't know, I'm not, I, I never go to McDonald's guys, so I can't really say. I just did it for the sake of this video. I do have my Keurig machine in here in my room, but ideas guys, ideas. I don't know if McDonald's had equal, but I knew there was a Starbucks right down below the elevators here, so I grabbed the equal from there. And boom, good to go. Let's have some of this McDonald's coffee. It's all right. It's your regular, usual, run-of-the-mill fast food coffee. For 99 cents, I am not gonna complain. I gotta put ketchup and a sausage McMuffin. Boom, cheers. It's a little cold by now, but it's all good. Mm. I do like sausage McMuffins. If they had a hash brown deal, I would've gotten it, but that would've put me well over 20 bucks. So I will just have to do with this and the large coffee. I only have $1.80 left to spend here. We're gonna have to pick up a souvenir. I got an idea. I need to give a little souvenir to a friend. So let's check this place out right here, right across from the D. All right, here we go, blowout, 99 cents each. I thought we are in Vegas, but obviously I love New York. Let's go. I only have 80 cents left, so we're gonna actually fail this on purpose so we can get to over 20 bucks. It's just over 20 bucks. Let's see if it works. Oh, there we go.
And there you go, round out your 20 bucks. To round off the final couple bucks on the $20 challenge, we went to the 99 cent Las Vegas souvenir shop and got an I love New York shot glass. <laughs> You'll see what we would do with this. We're gonna give this to somebody that loves New York. To top it off, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get myself one of these crushed pennies for a dollar and it put me 29 cents over, but it has Las Vegas, my lucky penny. So maybe this is gonna be my lucky penny from here on out. Let's give this present. Hi, Norma. Hi. Hi, son. Remember the $20 challenge that you did? Or uh -huh. wait, what you did that last year with Lydia? Did one, yeah, exactly one year ago in $20. Yeah, you went all the way to downtown, right? Yes. I took your advice and I did a $20 challenge, but Fremont Street. Okay. I had the shrimp cocktail. That was, and, I, and I said, that's because of you. Mm -hmm. And then I had a dollar to spend. So I got you this on Fremont Street. And I just thought it was funny, so I had to give it. I had to get it because it has nothing to do with Las Vegas. <laughs> See. <laughs> Why would you, how could you find this in Vegas? It was in the front of the souvenir shop in front of that's the D. That's hilarious. That's what I did to spend my last dollar. For all, mommy G. All my tequila shots will come out from here from I, now on. I love New York. And wine, maybe even wine. Go watch her uh, $20 challenge video now. Thank you, Jay. Here's the final price, $20.29. So I went 29 cents over in a day and age of inflation and tax. I didn't think I was gonna meet the criteria and I didn't wanna leave 80 cents unused. So I'd rather lose the challenge and go over 29 cents. We failed it on purpose just so we could get one extra dollar souvenir in. Videos like this are fun. It's just the idea of it. Hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see me do something more, maybe $50 is more reasonable or $100. We could do Fremont Street, the street San Diego or whatever please like this video please comment let me know what you think in the comment section below also if you want to check out my Facebook group Las Vegas 777 let's go we have news tips and tricks on there with about 2,000 Vegas lovers so make sure you guys check that out the words of JKation stay traveling Las Vegas let's go mm -hmm.